Brendan Clark Smith. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, one thing we have learnt is that this virus can mean drastic steps sometimes have to be taken at very short notice. And I know from personal experience that nothing can substitute in-person teaching. But I also know that we have a profession committed to doing their best to make sure they can offer as near an experience to this as possible. Schools, of course, have never been closed. Our schools have stayed open throughout to support the children of critical workers and our most vulnerable pupils. Our teachers are doing an incredible job, sometimes having to balance both virtual and physical teaching simultaneously. And I also want to say thank you to all the other staff working at schools who are sometimes forgotten. And this is why I am delighted that this government has helped provide extra support for remote learning, be it laptops or routers going out to those in need, the work we have done with mobile phone companies on data allowances, or the excellent resources on Oak National Academy. We provided a 400 million package to support children and their families, including the 170 million COVID winter grant scheme to help with food and bills. To spread this money too thinly would be a mistake. And it is absolutely right that we use this to target those most in need. And we have also increased spending on school meals to 15 pounds per child. It is a shame then that some have misrepresented free school lunches as meals for the entire day, or indeed, for the entire family. They are not. However, this support is there for those who genuinely need help. And we've been clear in our guidance throughout as to what we expect to be in food parcels. And it is right that when school contractors do not provide this, that they are pulled up and challenged. Opposition days should be a chance to have a healthy debate and not an exercise in generating fake news and misrepresenting parliamentary votes by the likes of the London Economic or They Work For You. And we have seen some disgraceful abuse of colleagues, particularly female colleagues, and attacks on their officers. Last week, somebody even threatened to cut the brakes on my car because they didn't like my last speech in an opposition day debate. Unfortunately, opposition day debates are fast becoming, to effective scrutiny and democratic engagement, what Mrs Brown's boys is, to quality television and comedy. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker.